Hey, what's up, y'all? I was gonna do a quick update video right quick. Just a few minutes on a pit I had built a while back, a few years ago. And, uh, the I think I called it the Grail Master trailer pit. And I had built it and gave it to my church. And, uh, I built it for them. And anyway, I, was, I brought it to the house so I could clean the racks up and do a little of this and that on it. One of the uh, hinges on one of the doors is locked up. I need a fix. And, uh, so just a few things I was gonna get done to it. And, uh, just gonna show y'all how, how it turned out how it's been going it's been about a little over two years i think about two and a half years since i built it I'll let y'all see how it looked anyway that's the pit some of y'all may have seen the videos and a couple of the videos are still on it's just a real real far back and uh i know i got rid of some of them that was the burner this burner has never been used it just laid there and got rusty. I actually had a tarp for this thing. <clears throat> I had left a tarp on it. That was to hold the propane tank. But the first time we cooked on it, we cooked steaks in there. And we had the thing so hot, and we forgot to move the tarp out of this cage. And it melted to the cage. <laughs> so nobody ever got another tarp for it. It had a lot of decoration I cut out and put on there. Luke 9, 16 to 17 is, is one of the verses about where Jesus fed the multitudes. A cross put onto the cage. This was a Santa Marie grill I put on the back side with GBC Gray Baptist Church initials on the back. And you can pull that pin there and reel it up and down. This is what we'll be cooking on this weekend, uh, I think upcoming weekend, whatever. Some more stuff I'm gonna clean out. And these were the doors. And I can already see somebody, this hinge right here locked up on it from rusting on the inside. And somebody's been steady pulling on it and done bent the door right there. So I gotta try to figure out how to fix that. Sometimes people just won't leave well enough alone. See it's locked, they won't just leave it alone. And these were, uh, see these arms hold the door up? And these were cabinet pulls. And it got so hot it melt the plastic melted the plastic out of the thing. It still holds it. It just looks strange now. And your coals went down here. That was more decoration. Gray Baptist Church I cut on the front of it. It was real bright red with engine enamel paint, but it still burnt off of there. Nobody ever bothered to clean the coals out, so I gotta clean all that stuff out of here. Sadly, that stuff's been sitting in there for two years. I can't say nothing else because I hadn't cleaned it out either, so. But anyway, like I say, it's just here for a cleanup and see what I can do on this door. Mm, let me try to get this door open. Both doors should open like that, but like I say, one of them's messed up. I probably had to cut the hinges off and redo them. Probably gonna rebuild some racks soon for them. I'm not gonna do them this time. But the other side is just like this. So anyway, it was just a quick update for people who seen the video a couple years ago and was wondering what might've happened to it and everything. It's just, everything's still going good. One door's locked up. A lot of paint's burned off. Other than that, it's, everything's still good. So we'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you later.